And hello to all friends, potatoes are also with you. Yuxi. Uh -huh. And today, we are going to pass a very, very, very cool card from subscribers. Here we have such fashions as a whale, and as you can see, it's fashionable to have such bombastic portals and mercy in ports or something like that in my opinion it's called. In short, here we have a map connected with mirrors, and in general, I don't know what else. Now let's see what we have here in our first room. So, what do we have here? We have the flag of Russia, the flag of the USA, I don't know why, and also very very cool mirrors. Yuxi, let's tell your feelings, what do you expect to see here at all? What I want to say is that you will leave this card to subscribers? Yes, of course. There will be a link in the description, so go ahead, download, go through. Guys, when you come here, be sure to put the drawing on two chunks and disable the shaders. Otherwise, your FPS will be minus a trillion five hundred thousand. There is no such figure, but everything will lag. I would like to note, I would like to note that if you have a tendency to narcissism, or you have a friend narcissism who plays Minecraft, feel free to send him here, because it will be very good for such people here. Just look, there are mirrors everywhere, you can stare at it yourself. I'll fix it, I will. Just look at the yuck skin. Ah, well well that's it me. I have a narcissistic personality, I will look at myself. In short, everyone went to that hole. Here, by the way, here, yux has already gone there once, and in the end, almost did not return. By the way, here, we have something written in English, and here it says choose your language in the settings. The inscriptions in the game depend on the selected language. That's it. We have chosen. We have Russian. Come on. So, yucks, where are you? Yes. Yes, I'm here. I'm just thinking how I would make fun of you so that you would get here shorter. Yeah. Oops. Damn it. And that's it. And that's it. And that's it. How to justify? Still nothing. In short, we have female names here. I didn't understand. Oh, look at this. In short, here we have, as I understand it, Mirrors. Here we have a mirror of some kind. I see myself. I see you there. We have some names written here. Hello, stranger. Choose your name and enter the mirror. Yeah. In short, here. We need to choose a name. And I went to the room. Wait, wait. You better come back here, because it's the same for us. This is a single-player card. Therefore, it is necessary to choose some. Well, let's choose the type of female or male will we have. Let's call ours something. Let's do this with us. We're one person, then. One person, yes. Therefore, this is where there is Sergei. Look at the name. Well, it's so not interesting. It's you. Lev, listen. A lion. A lion, if there is a lion. Come on, Lev. Let's be animals. Let's be animals. Let's all go. And how? And how should I? So stop. No, oh, you have to enter the mirror. Okay, that's fine. And find that name again. So, we need to find the name Lev again. And here it is. Here it is. Oops. Greetings. Lev is written. That's funny. Look thumbs up. Everything is shorter. Put likes. You see, they even show signs here. And it's a poke. We can basically do this. Look. I'm in shock from the map, honestly. Does the potato see its feet? Is it possible to see something else besides the legs? So, what has Comrade Cyrenix prepared for us? This is the same person who actually made this map. The first option was made a few years ago, on command blocks, but it was safely covered with a hard drive. The essence of the map was originally built as a puzzle with reflections. There is a real world and a reflection world, which may not always coincide with the real one, which allows you to bypass obstacles or find a solution. The first rule is not a cheater. Everything is passable. I checked, even if I really want to, not a cheater. If it seems that you are stuck, don't cheat. Look around. This is Lucas, George Lucas. Did you want Lucas's? Get it. Listen, he wrote it so that of course we guys would like it. Put a like right now. It will help us a lot, especially potatoes to promote videos, please. It's four meters for one second. Please like it. Thank you very much. In short, we need to start playing the map faster. And what do I propose to do? First of all, we need more loading, because it won't lag so much anymore. Let's make six chunks probably somewhere. And everything seems to be fine. Yes, everything is fine so far. What are we jumping into the glass for? Let's go. So, Yuxi is missing. Me too. So, we appeared on some island. This, oh, something? There's something written in the chat. Look, hi, I'm a mirrorman and I'll help you. Write some Val. Well, thanks Val. There's something going on up there. There's something there. Listen, we're going to change the drawing. Everyone, run faster. I hope that it will not fall apart now, otherwise you never know what else is happening now. So look, here we probably have the first mechanism. It is necessary to press the button, and now look it is moving forward as quickly as possible. So, and here. What? What is this? How's that? Do you see too? These are the ramparts. Yes. And they are increasing. I take it this is some kind of portal or something. This is some kind of portal. All right. I didn't understand anything. So, there was a lever here. Come here. Look, there's nothing on this side of the lever. Listen, wait, but maybe we'll check from all sides, just in case. S. It's nothing. And here, look from above, how many small blocks there are. 
although there are no mod numbers here. So did we do something? Yes, we have opened it. And here's what? Stairs, stairs. See here some kind of training, something, the basics. As I understand it, first you need to go to training, go through training, and then go through this card itself or what? So, this is training eight. Let's start from the beginning. What are we diving for? Come on, let's see. Come on. Okay, great. Just go to the button and click on it. Come on. Everything? Great. We passed the first training. Went to the second then. Fire. Great. And here you just have to. Oh, oh, oh. I hope we succeed. And what does it say here? I think we need to go through here. And that is, look, we could only swim in lava there, but here we have already passed just like that. And here we can even go here and press the general button. He meant that a mirror is always a passage and you don't always need to parkour. There is always a way out through reflection. By the way, he told us about it. Always yes. It can be found through reflection. Damn, that's really cool. So that's it, the third training. So, what do we have here? Time. Now something will be connected with time. Ran, ran, ran. What kind of tower is this? Ran, rain, 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 ran. So, there's a button here. And what's there? And here, like look, everything was destroyed, right? And we passed there, like there. Most likely we went back for a while. Whatever else I see has been fixed. Then it all collapsed, and lo and behold. Damn, that's just brilliant. Therefore... This training is called time. Exactly. Yes, most likely. So, gravity. Let's explore gravity. What awaits us here? So, here we have as I understand it, we need to press this button, and we will take off or what? No, we need to think about it. We need to think, wait. Listen, I have a book with hints, and also hidden glasses. If anything. This way, this way, this way. What was that? It just turned me over. That is, it turns out, that it is also possible to somehow sideways. We can always jump. Down. Listen. Or yes, we need down. We have nowhere else to go. By any, by any. So. There is. As a result, we ended up somewhere on a platform. By the way, the one that we couldn't jump on. Why did you fall? Yes, yes. So let's do it again quickly. This, this is just brilliant. So now I will. Oh, you're straight. Oh, 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 I pushed you. Awesome. In short, now I'm shooting as if Yux is jumping and turning over. Come on. So it turns out this is such a passage. Yes. Up. Awesome. Let's move on. It turns out that we move around the box, inside the box, and it kind of rotates inside. But this is all done with the help of the portal. Listen, I see a button there already, but I don't think we're going to reach it now, so we have to go to that one. What do we do? Let's go on the neck. So, be careful, I didn't understand what happened. Now, that's it, I get it, I'm in another room. Come on. That's it. Be careful. See that hole? Here we were just jumping there. Yes, yes, yes. Listen, and now we can't get through here. We just have to jump there, apparently, on this glowing block here. Yeah. So come on, you're the first. Is there parkour after all? Yes, apparently there is still, well, a small one. Let's do both with the control. Great, and it turns out the button is here, right? Here it is a button. All poke. Great, listen, by the way, this has already been somewhat more complicated. It's called perspective. Look, I think there's going to be something here too. Look, we don't have any other passage here, except here, so I suggest we go there. The same thing. Only the whole type is open. There's a book here by the way, the way. And the mirror. So something. I didn't understand something. I passed somehow. A book, just a book. There's a passageway here. Look, and so. I haven't figured it out yet. Where to? Where are you anyway? I'm somewhere up under it. Somehow I went upstairs. Awesome. Listen, you figure it out here. In short, we have a portal, just confused. You go there again, and in the end, you end up in another place. Please explain to the guys how it works. Why is this room called perspective? I roughly understand but I do not know how to explain it. In short, look, there we have a mirror at the back. In that mirror, we get that the other room is exactly the same, but just with a hole. A copy of this room. There is a passage on the right, and there is also a mirror. We pass through it, go out through another hole, and enter the same hole, enter the exit and get to another place. That is just the same. There is already up there. That's why this room is called perspective. That's it. Let's go into distortion now. There are only three level of training left, so I think we can handle it now. So, look here. We have a chest of some kind, and there is a boat of Grandfather Mazda. Who is this? So you are. It is apparently being copied. Yes, listen straight. Listen for us. But look, there's a portal there. Maybe we can just walk through here. Let's try it. So, yeah. And here we have. Look, are these trolleys? And there are no trolleys. And if we click here, the trolley appeared. Come on, let's have you first that that's more. See, in short, we have now hacked space. We could have gone by boat, but we chose a different path and just hop sat down like this in the boat. Oh, more precisely trolleys. And here we just have a passage. Click here and in short. No, oh, stop. That's it. We've been through it shorter. Why was this room called distortion? We distorted space with the portal. 
Here we had, that is, there were no rails at first, and then they appeared. Can you please explain the philosophy? It seems to me that there is a very deep philosophy in this, precisely in terms of the fact that there is always a way out in our life, and there are different ways of solving it. You just need to look at the problem or the situation from a different angle. Yes, in short, look, here we have how it all shows up. In this room at first there was just ice, we were given a boat. It is very difficult to ride a boat, as you know, on the ice like this very carefully. In short, you will get carried away, and everything will be very bad. You just, roughly speaking, enter the mirror, look at this situation a little differently, and you have other ways. Let's say, like here. But it's very, very distorted, of course. But there are rails that you can just ride on a trolley and go through life very simply. Listen, you know, while I was looking at you, I noticed all sorts of flashlights from behind, and most likely it's like an achievement. And there are apparently two flashlights for each level, and they show achievements in this room. In other words, we have not fulfilled something here. Look, in principle, in short, let's not go through all this, but just look at the achievements in this room now, and try to fulfill them. Here, we still have size matters, and here we have a dwarf in the nose. Everyone, come here. You must press this mold to be reborn here. In short, as I understand it, here we need to become a dwarf in one block, and size matters. Honestly, I don't know what that means yet either. Maybe even now. And look, yes, we have become small, and are passing through here. Yes, that is, in reflection, we pass a block, as if in two blocks, but to the extent it goes into one block, and I aim, and am I small for you now? Yes, these are shorter portals. Like you enter a small portal, and there's a big portal. And like this way you just get big. Oh, that's it. So we press the button. Yes, we've been through it. In this room, we saw such phenomena as a decrease, and also an increase in our size. How does it all work? This is all done by creating two portals. The first portal is one of them. Let's say it has a frame of 4x4, four four, and the second portal will have it 2x2. Two two. And in this way we become bigger. In short, you enter a large portal, exit through a small one, and your dimensions seem to increase. The same thing can be done with a decrease, that is, just the opposite, although small, you go out in a big and shorter one. So this is where it all works. So come on, the last training room is 8. The order is called. What game are you playing right now? Minicraft. Marek, and Mario Craft, or Money Craft. Ah, everything. How do you rate it? The whole map? Yes. Well, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Wait, it was training. Well, let's put a five. Is Potato Yuck serious? I opened something there. Stew. It was just, you know, like a test survey. For the fact that we answered this way, we were given the following card. Cartifa on the Yukos. Seriously? Did you really like it? Well, okay, eh? Crex, spec, spec. Catch the sequel. Well, yes. It was just training levels. Wow. You're so many levels. It was just training. Listen, I'm very interested in what was on the second floor. We're going there. Let's go back. Is that how I understand it here? And look, there's training here. Here we have the first level. There will probably be a second level. This is the third, but the fourth level, yes. So wait, there's another second floor. So, and here we have. And look, look, we are going through these levels here to collect some kind of large portal. Just look at what we're doing now. We go through each level, and as I understand it, each level gives one block to this large portal, in order to eventually teleport. Let's say somewhere in paradise or someplace. In short, the portal is very cool. In general, it's very interesting what awaits us there, so let's quickly continue to go through all these levels. That's it, level 1. It was all just training, so let's go in. So here, we have a diamond eye tightening, and there is also a gopher. What does this mean? I don't know. Well, I see there already. Look, I'm scared. I think we're about to kill a dragon for the first time. Look at the portal here. Portals always beckon me. There's a portal here. Of course. I fell. We can peek, actually. Can I come through here? What? Where? Come here. Jump straight here. Exactly jump. That's great. Yee. There are probably some barriers here, and we can pass through here. So, there's a button here. Shall we click on it? And it seems to me that it doesn't make sense when the button never works in the reflection. Yeah, like a reflection. That's just imagination type. So, the fraction lane is very interesting by the way, the names. They're unusual. Where to go? Oh my god. Look, there's a hole on top, on the bottom. I see water. Yes, I want to try it at least once. Suddenly I'll fall into the water. Suddenly I'll succeed. That's just the same. And, in any case, it is necessary to look into the reflection. Yes. But I see water. It is necessary to get into the water in short. Then a shooting gallery. So, here you need a bow. So, onion, look. We only have one bow now. But no, oh, that's great. Look, we can shoot there too. Maybe try it? Come on. And what will happen? But no, oh, we have to go through here. Well, it is necessary to get into it in short while it is. In short, everything is clear. 
I don't get anything into it. Some kind of reset. Or maybe it's necessary here too. But look, there's a button appeared. And how? And you need to get into it. Look, but everything appeared. A button appeared. That's it. We're through. We even completed all the achievements. Bonus. Look. And there will be some kind of trick at the end. A brain cube from Rubik. Cube. Rubik's head. I'm a square, right? Again. What? What is it? What is it? Oh, listen, something like that. Wait, I'm lagging. I can't walk around here normally at all. Are you down there somewhere? Yes, here. <sighs> oh my god, this. In general, what is it? Look, I'm scared. In general, we need to go further. You're playing Rubik's Cubes. Like, look, we see such a big Rubik's Cube, but this is exactly the same one. Well, here's the passage, damn it. You, and where is the passage? Come back here. We are all going after this Rubik's Cube, and in the end, we came here again. I don't understand where I am, to be honest. Yes, me too. I think we're just going in a circle right now and it seems to me we've been through here. Wait, I found some endless passage, and I'm running into it. Yes, but you're an endless passage just, it doesn't count. You're just, you're freaking out. The exit is where the entrance is. We just need to find the same entrance. Damn, we should have just gone back out. Yes, it's like it's like there's no way out here. It's like it's not a solution. Here I found it. Yes, I found it. I'm out of here. Oh my god, what is this? It's some kind of flying resident. He's got some little buttons here. Hi, my name is David Blaine. I do a special sheep magic. Do you want to see some magic? Choose any of my sheep. Wow, I'm scared. Remember its color and press the button. So which one will we choose? Yes, this. Purple to purple. Come on, come on. What are we clicking? Yee. I shaved the sheep you chose. You won't find it. I didn't understand. Wait a minute. But how did he understand? 